Siddharth started his journey with a decision to put an end to all the sufferings in the world. He removed his royal attire, hair, jewels and walked into the forest as a hermit. He met many hermits on his way. Days passed. He reached the forest in Magadha kingdom. There he met Aritha and became his disciple. After a few days, what I have learned till now does not bring an end to all the pain. So let me search on my own. Again, he started his journey. He reached a place called Gaya. There, he performed a rigorous, painful penance. For six years without eating and sleeping, he continued his penance. He looked like a living skeleton. During that time, a woman Sujata, herdsman wife who came there, gave her food to Siddharth. I have made a mistake. I should not have suffered so much for these six years. Mother, thank you very much. Your food has given me the energy. Now, with this strength, I will continue my search. Coming to a decision, he sat under a Bodhi tree and started meditating. Mara, name given to evil force that disturbs people's mind, appeared. If he finds the way to end all sufferings, what will happen to us? So, let me disturb his meditation. Mara tried in many ways only to be unsuccessful. He shot arrows, but they turned into lotus petals and fell at his feet. So, So that, you are a prince, born to rule this world as a king. Why do you suffer yourself without enjoying the royal life? For all these things, Siddharth did not answer, but won him with his silence. Then he continued his meditation. Slowly Siddharth found the answer. He realized the truth. The reason for the suffering is desire. The way to get rid of suffering is to follow the middle path. He became Buddha. He slowly opened his eyes and felt the surroundings to be calm and quiet. He decided to teach his findings to the people in the world. So he reached Benares. There he started his first preaching. Then he visited many places and his preaching started to spread. Many became his followers. Once, Buddha was walking through a forest. Hey, stop! My son, be calm. I am going to kill you and take your thumb. Child, why don't you be very kind to others? 
Buddha started preaching to him and Angulimala realized the truth. He fell at his feet and worshipped Buddha. His preaching attracted elders, old ones, emperors and everyone in the country. Not only in India, but in Singapore, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Philippines, Japan and China, Buddhism has spread its wings.